Guess who went to Sephora, spent way too much money, and is ashamed of herself? Me. I also just reached VIB Rouge for the first time in my life, which just signifies that I have a shopping problem, and they hand you that shiny red card, and you're like, oh hell yeah, but also, that's a lot of money. Before we get into this, I'm gonna let you guys know that this lipstick is L'Oreal <sighs> Collection Exclusive 705 Jennifer's Pink. Looks more purple to me, but you know what? It's a great color. I've literally had that forever and never wore it, so I'm trying. <laughs> and this shirt is from Forever 21. I will link it down below. Anyway, that's a wig right there. I don't know what I'm doing. I spent too much money at Sephora yesterday, but you know what? She worth it. So at least I thought I would do a haul for you guys because I really, <sighs> disclaimer, I really don't shop for makeup that often. Um, I get sent a lot of PR packages. I pick up pretty much my favorites or if there's a really exciting new line I wanna try, but it's dangerous. I went into Sephora with my mother because I needed another eyebrow pencil. I ran out of my favorite one and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna get my favorite eyebrow pencil. You guys know I love the Hourglass brow pencil. <laughs> And then I ended up seeing the Benefit ones, and I'm like, ooh, I've never tried these. There's Nicole Guerrero's face. <sighs> it was just a lot to process. Um, <laughs> and I was in there for an hour. My mom and I were swatching everything. So there's a lot. <sighs> this tanning mitt. Get away from me. So there's a lot in here, and I thought we would just go through it together. And if you guys want me to do a full face with all this new makeup, then give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments. Oh my god, my phone just gave me a heart attack. So when you reach VIB Rouge, they give you this brush here. Let's see what kind of brush it is. I don't know. But I'm qualified for free makeovers at any time now at Sephora. So I was thinking maybe for a video I could go and get my makeup done at Sephora and we can like see how it goes because I've never had my makeup done there before. Um... But I'm not gonna lie, no shade or anything, but I used to work for Mac and we'd do a lot of makeovers and people would come in with like horror stories about their Sephora makeovers. I don't know if it was just my location, but let me know if you've heard that too. This is a pretty soft brush. Mini Flawless Airbrush Pro. It's pretty soft. So we always have a little mini brush here. Who knows what I'll use it, but it's kind of good for travel. Okay, so... Um, one thing I was really drawn to is all of these new peach products from Too Faced. I'm not gonna lie, I don't often buy Too Faced. I really don't know why. You guys know you just have certain brands you kind of gravitate to sometimes at Sephora or the drugstore or wherever. Um, but as I was looking at all these peach products, I was like, okay, love that, love that, love that. I cut like it took all my energy not to buy the entire thing. Too Faced, put me on your PR list. <laughs> Trash. So anyway, the first thing that drew me into the whole peach collection was all this mattifying stuff. They had a mattifying spray, mattifying primer, and all that jazz. So I decided to get one of those things, and I got the mattifying loose setting powder. It's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Just look how cute this packaging is. Oh my god, it's adorable. More than anything, I just want to smell it. The packaging is amazing. I really appreciate cute packaging. Peach perfect. Really, really cute. Um, and you guys know I love a good setting powder. I only pretty much use my Airspun powder, the cheap one that I love. I never really buy high-end ones because I don't feel like they're worth it. But um, I thought, I don't know, I'd give this a shot. Just shot in the dark here. Oh, wow. It does smell like peaches. Oh, my gosh. Hell, yeah. I'm really excited to try all these out. That's why I think I should do a video, um, like a full face of new Sephora makeup. The next product I got was the Peach My Cheeks. It's a melting powder blush, and I got the shade pinch my peach. Um, they had a really beautiful selection of all these like cream to powder melting products and I just thought that sounded like heaven. You guys know I'm not really a cream blush or cream highlight. Even cream contour I don't love. I'm a powder girl all the way. I'm oily. I have a hard time blending it in but I've just heard really good things about this that it melts in really nicely. Again we have really really sweet little cute packaging here. Um, it's like the shape of a peach. It looks like a peach. Um, and the color I got was just absolutely stunning for fall. Oh, <laughs> it's so shiny. I thought there was a plastic thing on top of it. Ooh, the color is so pretty. It's just so fall to me. 
it dries down very quickly. It's very subtle, um, but it looks like a nice fall color to me. So I'm excited to play with that and put it on my face. Let me know your favorite way to apply this. Um, I don't know if I should use like a stipple brush or just my fingers, uh, but I don't know. I think that's why I don't really like cream products and I don't know if I should apply it on to just the foundation or after my powder. I don't know, it stresses me out. Let me know your tips down below. I'll make sure to read them. And the last thing I got is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Velvet Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Again, infused with peach and sweet fig cream. I got this, I'm not someone who buys, uh, am I? Maybe I am. I'm really not someone who buys a ton of palettes. Um, Maybe I do, I don't know, I feel like I don't, like when a big new palette comes out and it's not like colors I'm going to use, I don't buy it. Like everyone was going crazy over the Anastasia subculture palette and I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to use those colors to be totally honest so I'm not going to buy it. So like if I see a palette and it has all the colors I love, I'll buy it even if I already have a palette that has all of those colors. It's gross, that makes no sense. I know, I just said it out loud and I'm like, why do you do this? But I just really loved all the colors in here. They just like, I was like, oh my God, I want to put all these on my eyes. Um, so here we go. This is what the packaging looks like. Really beautiful. It is gold mirrored on the back. And oh. <laughs> I really love the opening too. It kind of is like one of those little lockets, like the little two little knobs. Um, so we have a nice big mirror here, which I love. I feel like this is going to be my go-to travel palette for the rest of the year. Uh, it has pretty much all the colors I wear on a regular basis. I think it's worth it to buy a palette if it has colors you know you're going to wear like at least a few times a week, if not every day. Um, all of this <sighs> screams Alex. Oh my god, this smells like heaven. Peach is one of my favorite smells too, so the whole thing just was like, yes, I want all of this. Um, I love all these colors. All of these are beautiful crease shades. You guys know I'm a big, like, nude, peachy, taupey kind of eye look girl. It's really hard for me to try different colors. I try for you guys, but on the day to day, love these kinds of colors. And we have some nice little purples, which will help bring out the green in my eyes. I'm definitely gonna be traveling with traveling with this for the rest of the year if I go anywhere. I'm gonna have a couple trips planned ahead for the rest of the month the rest of the year, which I'm excited to uh, vlog with you guys. So, I don't know, and they have some nice lighter shades. Oh, this palette, I know I'm gonna put it to good use, which is why I didn't feel too bad about buying it, because I'm like, girl, you're gonna be using this like every day for a while. Why did I leave the sound on? My heart keeps racing. So, the two things that I did go in there for are right here. I went in for a brow pencil and concealer. Um, my shape tape is still too light, it's just, I'm really mad that I bought that shade. I wish I had a darker one, but I thought they sold it at Sephora. Maybe mine was just sold out, but I do feel like it's one of those things that they haven't had in the store for a while. Uh, so I just realized, does that look like a stripper pole? Does that, is that what that looks like? This is a clothing rack over here, but there is a wig on it. Is this weird? <laughs> So anyway, I decided to switch it up for my brow pencil. I got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which everyone has used forever, and I was like, why have I not even tried this? I got shade number two. I had a hard time picking between two and three, but I thought three might be a little bit dark, so I went ahead and grabbed the second shade here. Um, I don't really know. I don't know what makes this so special. I know it's like poppin'. It has the wide tip and then a pointed end to define. Um, it's a 12-hour waterproof blending spoolie brush. It basically just has everything that I would want in a brow pencil. You guys have probably seen this a million times. Everyone uses it, but uh, I feel good about the shade, so that's good. It's like a light brown. Uh, yeah, and I like that it has a spoolie. That's crucial. I don't get one without a spoolie. So anyway, we'll kind of test it out when I do that video, and we'll kind of just see how it is. I'm sure you guys have used it before. I feel like everyone has used this. I'm the last person. And the uh, concealer I decided to get is also from Too Faced. I spent a lot of time at the Too Faced section. I'm not sure why. I also stared at Fenty Beauty forever and I already... See, like, when something's super exciting to me, like, I bought so much from the Fenty Beauty line the second it dropped because it was like, oh my god, I love it! Um, I don't know, I guess it just depends. Everyone's different. Like, certain things appeal to me more where I'm like, this is worth my money. Phew! <laughs> Oh, that was, that was intense. And then other things are not worth my money, in my opinion. I don't know. So I picked up <coughs> the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. Um, I remember I tried the Born This Way Foundation. I did a first impression on it a really long time ago, if you want to search for it. And I really didn't like the foundation. 
um, but I'm really different when it comes to like my whole face and just under my eyes or highlighting the face so I thought that I would like the formula just for the concealer because the foundation was just a little bit too um, natural for me it ended up breaking up on the skin and got really shiny but I thought it would be good for the concealer uh, so it has coconut oil. I like hydrating products under the eyes, but not on the rest of my face because I will get shiny. It has coconut water, alpine rose, hyaluronic acid, non-comedogenic. 100% of people experience an improvement in skin moisture levels after an hour. Um, so I thought it looked good. It sounded promising for under the eyes. Whoops. I ended up getting the shade Light Nude. Um, I think this looks a lot better for under the eyes. My shape tape, if you guys know, don't know why. I ordered it online and I bought the lightest shade and it's just way too much. This one's a bit closer to my skin tone and I think it will look a lot more natural under the eyes and it has really good coverage. I swatched it in the store and I was like really happy with the coverage, happy with the color. Um, and it just blends in really nice. When it goes on the skin, you just feel that hydration and you know, I think everyone wants that for around the eye area. Got another foundation that I want to do a first impression on. People have been asking me to do this for a long time, so I finally picked it up. It's the Anastasia Stick Foundation. I got the shade beige. It fit, fit, <laughs> fitched, matched, <laughs> fit and matched my neck color absolutely perfectly. So I'm gonna be doing this really soon. If you want me to do the first impression on this, let me know in the comments down below, and I will get that done fairly quickly for you guys. It's highly pigmented, buildable cream foundation with a natural matte finish, ideal for normal to oily skin types. So it sounded perfect for me. <clears throat> I've been really starting to grow to like stick foundations more. This was a pretty good price. Uh, I think I was kind of surprised. How much was this again? Do, do, do. Yeah, this was only $25, and I feel like for a high-end foundation, that's pretty good. I know it is a stick foundation, but... I thought it would be like $30, $35, uh, so a relatively good price here if you guys haven't seen this before. Um, I've heard really good things about it. My favorite stick foundation is the Hourglass. Um, that's pretty much the only high-end one I've tried. I've tried a lot of stick foundations from the drugstore, and I hate them. I hate them so much. They end up breaking up on me, um, they separate, they get shiny, like they just look terrible after like four to six hours, and I'm a little bit more long-wearing. Uh, but the Hourglass one I love, so hopefully this other high-end one will be good too. Uh, so the packaging looks like this. It is black and rose gold. And I feel like we get a pretty good amount of product, uh, so I'm really excited to try this out. My mom had showed this to me um, when she texted me once a while back and she was at Sephora and she said these are just amazing. So if you guys watched the last season of Bachelorette with Rachel, she always had on this stunning, stunning glitter eyeshadow like a lot of the time and I was always like, what is that? And my mom and I think it might be this, it might not be, but it looked like this. So it's the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Oh my god. I put this on my Snapchat the other day and I was shook to my core. These are just pure liquid pigment. I had a really hard time deciding on a shade. It was between this one called uh, Glitter Dust, Diamond Dust, and Rose Gold. Of course, you guys know I love Rose Gold, but I thought the Diamond Dust would be a little bit more diverse because it's just kind of silver. You're not even ready for this swatch. So it looks like this. It is just a liquid eyeshadow. Guys, <laughs> it is insane it's just like straight let me turn down this lighting so you can see a little better it's just like straight up glitter like just look at that it's so good so i got this shade because i feel like it would match more color options but i'm just totally obsessed it's so pretty um and you guys know i dabble in a lot of matte looks so i got this to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone try some new things and I did pick up an Urban Decay primer potion I have not bought this eyeshadow primer since maybe like middle school high school this used to be like everyone's jam um, I'm having a really hard time with my eyeshadow creasing on me lately uh, and I could, could not find my favorite Elizabeth Mott thank me later eyeshadow primer I lost it in my move I've looked everywhere I can't find it so I thought I'd go back to an original that I know works for me so I just got the original primer potion and the last thing I got is my favorite perfume. I just spit everywhere. I don't know if you saw it. I got my favorite perfume uh, that I ran out of maybe a month or two ago. So I originally bought this perfume back when I went to London for the first time. And it has a really special smell to me. <laughs> you know when something... Okay, how? How? You know how when you just like buy something somewhere with really good memories and then the smell is just more special to you and, you know, 
that's just how this perfume is to me it's just the Dolce & Gabbana in the red velvet packaging it says pour femme at the bottom I don't know if that's the name of it there's nothing on here that says the name of it besides pour femme and then eau de perfume that's all it says um it drives me crazy I don't know if that's just what it's called let me know is it called pour femme I don't I thought that meant like perf per perfume for women or something I could be totally wrong uh, but I don't know it's the one in the red velvet packaging it's my favorite smell in the whole world I don't know I bought it at um, Harrods and it just like gives me all the good fall memories in London and it looks like this oh hell yeah it's been too long oh I love it smells so and I actually, this, I bought it when I was in London in the fall, two years ago. So it has a very, like, fall, nostalgic, amazing scent for me. I don't know. It just takes me back. And that was, like, probably, London's my favorite, favorite, favorite place in the whole world so far. Um, but it just, like, makes my heart glow. So I love smelling that. <laughs> but that's my sentimental moment of the day. And that's everything that I got at the Sephora recently. Um, I'm not going to cook again now for months. When the holiday kits come out, that's when I'm going to be screwed. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to try not to go back in there before then. I went in because I needed a brow pencil and concealer. But that's what happens, as we know. So anyway, <laughs> like I said, let me know down in the comments. And let me know by giving this a thumbs up that you want me to do a full face using all that stuff. Because, like, why not? That'd be great. Like, a full face of first impressions. That sounds good. So, uh, let me know down in the comments if you want that. And I love you guys so much. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up as well. And I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you for all the love and support on this channel. The Fearless Tribe is stronger than ever. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!